Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Sampurasun Hello nice people there And welcome back with me Ian English To the Uni Talk program here at Strabis TV I'm not alone again I'm still with Coach Alka. Hello, Coach. Hi, hi. How are hi. you doing? It's really great to be here again. Sure, it's, it's sure. Yeah. It's always be nice to see you, right? Yes. And talking about Uni Talk, we've mm. been me, my team, mm. we've been designing Uni Talk program. You know what? For different for everybody with a different different backgrounds, for academician, for um. Especially for businessmen, anyway. See, really, and Uni Talk is very, very important for business world. And because talking about business is too wide, don't you think so? Exactly. exactly. That's right. right. We'll be talking more deeper about one of the business aspect. It's related to marketing. It's called um, sales. Salesmanship, right? I mean, well, we call, we can right, call we can call it, right? We can call it. We will be talking more about how do we put NLP into sales sessions. And what are you going to say about it? Okay, it's really interesting. So, mm. first of all, how NLP can work in sales. Right, right. Well, let me put it this way that sales is part of communication. Right. Mm. And communication means we are dealing with so right. the only thing that we must understand is about understanding people mm -hmm. will bring us to sales. Right. That's it. Right. I mean, that, that, that the simple phrases that I always use, mm -hmm. once you understand your prospect, then you understand their needs, that's how you can fulfill or that's how you can accommodate their needs. Right. And if they get what they need, of course, they will buy the simple things. Wait, some people, some people think that sales is actually about Sales, you know, uh, promoting, 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 advertising, right? That's right, that's right. Direct sales, yeah, direct sales. But you said before that it's actually about communication. Communication, that's right. I mean, there is nothing wrong with sales as a marketing, mm -hmm. direct selling. There's nothing wrong with that. But I personally like to see it in other perspective, mm -hmm. which means sales is about communicating and understanding. Right. So once we can understand our prospect, we know how to treat them mm -hmm. and we know what they actually need. Right. And in this kind of sales in NLP, mm -hmm. I like to encapsulate that in what I call as smile model. Well, smile. Smile, model. Smile, right? Right? Smile, smile, yeah, model. smile model. Right. Smile model is actually abbreviation. Mm -hmm. So S stands for state. Mm. State means mental, emotional state that we are using when we are dealing with our prospect means are we in the good state or otherwise. Mm -hmm. If we are in a good state, they can feel the state because state always vibrates. Mm -hmm. So when we know that we are in the good state, in a, in a friendly state, mm -hmm. they will sense that kind of friendliness and they feel, I know this man for such a long time. I feel mm -hmm. some comfort to talk to them. Mm -hmm. So this is what we call state. And M, or I can say matching mirroring, mm -hmm. is actually a crucial step in sales how we can build similarities with our prospect. Mm -hmm. So the more we can find similarities, the more we feel familiar with them. Mm -hmm. And one thing that we must understand during sales, human is emotional creature. Right. So basically, right. we decide by emotion mm -hmm. and we justify by logic. Wow, wow, that's really cool that's from it. Brian Rassi. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. One, once we can be connected to them emotionally, mm -hmm. we can really influence them in a logical level. Right. But some of us, we try so hard to struggle to emphasize on the benefit, to really emphasize on intellectual aspect. Yeah. We forget mm -hmm. that actually we are human. And yeah. human, we talk about emotional things, how mm -hmm. to make them feel good and comfortable. Right. Right. Matching mirroring is a step to build familiarity with them, mm -hmm. to talk on similar level of understanding. Right. Mm -hmm. And we can move further to what we call as I, identify. Mm -hmm. Identify is the process of knowing what they need. Identify mm -hmm. stop to knowing what is important in their need right. that we can fulfill with our product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And finally, we will reach the state of L, linking. Mm -hmm. Linking means how we can link their needs mm -hmm. with our product. 
Right, so right. that's how actually decision to buy happens. Mm -hmm. So wh why I, I mentioned E is E is actually expand. Expand means it depends on you. Right. You Whether we want to expand. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. right. We right. already know what they need, mm -hmm. but sometimes it's unnecessary for us mm -hmm. to sell it on the spot right now. Right. Sometimes right. it happens. So mm -hmm. we, we, we know how to postpone. Mm -hmm. We know how to expand the sales on the next time. Right. But Above all, we know how to make them feel good about us. Right, so you've been talking about smile, right? Mm -hmm. But sure, we need to put it into practical things. Right? Practical things. What, exactly. what are you going to say about it? About well, it? How do you suggest people to do it? Well, in practical way, in simpler way, what I can say, what when you meet your prospect, if you're a salesperson, when you mm -hmm. meet your prospect, always put in mind that your goal is not to sell your product to them yeah but it's to understand them mm -hmm. to understand their need yeah. and to fulfill their need with your product that's right, it it's right, a simple right. thing it, it's very simple it's anyway simple. very simple right <laughs> but sometimes people forget about yeah, this be yeah, because yeah. we talk about us mm -hmm. it's about mm -hmm. me it's mm -hmm. not about it's not about the prospect it's yeah. about the sales and that makes the prospect fed up with it mm -hmm. So, so it's easy, right? It's quite simple. Understand their needs mm -hmm. and give solution according to their needs. Right. Since you uh, told nice people that they are web because you also deal with the coaching things, mm -hmm. do you really think that uh, uh, what is it being a sales like you mentioned before, it's easy to put it into the coaching session? Well, sales and coaching session is quite uh, well, because I, I I deal with mm -hmm. some uh, sales who, yeah. who wants to leverage their performance and, right. and they are trapped in a kind of low performance. Mm -hmm. Finally, mm -hmm. when I help them to check their own belief, yeah. they have again, again start from the it's belief. all about the belief again, <laughs> again, yeah. every time. Mm -hmm. So once I help them to check to discover their belief, they find that actually their goal is only for their own benefit. Sometimes oh. they forget about how to contribute, benefit, uh, the goodness to their mm -hmm. prospect. Right. So they trap in the kind of egocentric attitude. Mm -hmm. So once they realize about it, they know that it's about prospect, not about the sales anymore. Mm -hmm. So once they can put it in the practice, mm -hmm. they will find that their sales becomes more quote unquote more friendly. Right. What are you going to say about this era when um, the IT, um, you know, multimedia, internet come there mm -hmm. and uh, sales system is, uh, what is it, uh, pulled, you know, into, mm -hmm. like, into like system. That's right, that's yeah. right. When we talk about system, we talk about psychology or perspective. Yeah. We talk about how people will perceive our information. Mm -hmm. So with NLP, yeah. we can really encapsulate our way to offer a product right. in a such way with, which we call as copywriting. Oh, Maybe you may right, be familiar right. with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. How we can pack our copywriting according to their prospect needs. Mm -hmm. So they really feel that we talk to them as oh. if we really talk to them, we really understand them, mm -hmm. and that's why to make a really great copywriting yeah. is really taking a nice effort. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. that, it's not easy job. It's not easy job, it's not right? Easy job. Right. But once you know the trick, once you master the technique, everything will be so much easy because prospect really feel that you talk to them directly. Mm -hmm. So you don't, they, they don't really perceive this as a kind of online marketing, but they really perceive it's personal marketing. It is just conducted by online. Right. Well, nice people there. We've been talking a lot about NLP so far until this actually episode, right? That's Don't right. you think so, Coach Alka? Exactly. Hopefully, it will invite you, it will inform you to learn, learn, and learn more about NLP right. and uh, to know more about Unitalk and also NLP. It's better for you to check our social media, bit.ly. Bit bit.ly slash unitalk slash unitalk it's just really easy you don't need to pay as long as you have a social media anyway and that's what we have for this episode with course Alka thank, you very, thank you very much for being here right hope to see you again next time at the next episode and bye bye